Hello kids sewing fans! This is Miss Jan with the Pflugerville Quilt Guild. I'm the volunteer for the kids sewing projects that we're doing at the Pflugerville Public Library. Our project that I'm talking about today are patriotic pennants. Hello! Coming up is Veterans Day and what is a nicer way to honor a veteran in your family than by giving them a patriotic symbol of the red white and blue and thank them for their service to our country um, this is a really simple straightforward um, craft aren't these cute you can put them on uh, little flag poles or you can uh, I put a, a thread in your kit and you can run the thread through here and hang the pennant that way um, the instructions are quite simple. It's very much like the way we made the pillow. Uh, your instructions are written uh, typed like this for someone to read to you and done diagram style like this with drawing showing you the wrong side out, which is like this. Here's the wrong side out, which I have stitched. I don't know if you can see my neutral thread kind of blends in and you're going to stitch on the lines that were provided and form this little triangle. Now keep the top, the open part folded so that you have a finished edge and you don't have these little raw threads. And you're going to turn it right side out. Now, right here on the tip, I trim that little point of uh, fabric off and you're going to turn it right side out. And you'll notice this fabric happens to have the Pledge of Allegiance on it. That's what I like the best about it. And once you have your pennant finished and folded, I ironed mine, that's why it's laying so flat, and you take your little contrast, and this is what you're going to make your rod pocket. That's what you call what you put the the ribbon or the thread through or you put your little flagpole through and right here at the folded edge at the top of the triangle you're going to match your field there you go there I could actually finish pulling the tip out a little if your tip doesn't want to turn out you can um, use one of your black poles or a straw or a pencil and poke out your tip a little. There you go. See, we're going to poke it till we get it turned better. There. I'll put my field back on like this and I will anchor it with a pin. Uh, I would encourage you to use a safety pin. And then I'm going to sew this little chalk line and the chalk should disappear when you're finished you can brush it off and this is what you'll end up with you'll end up with a pennant and your little rod pocket that you can put a straw for a flagpole or you can uh, run a run a ribbon through it you know you can take a piece of ribbon or string right to this and push it all the way through and you can thread them together and hang them over a doorway or maybe a family member that you particularly love and care for is a veteran and that you would like to honor them uh, for their service by letting them know that they supported the red, white, and blue with their, their personal choice. And isn't that nice? Um, very simple straightforward three straight stitched lines and we're learning about turning out this is a um, I think a sweet and patriotic uh, craft and I would encourage you to perhaps trace the flag so that you could make some uh, of your own color choice maybe you'd like to make some with your school colors and hang a little string and pennants um, you can make pennants from uh, uh, 
scraps of, of colors you have. You can decorate for a party with them. Um, I know uh, people like Martha Stewart who do crafting shows have made really cute bright colored pennants for parties. And um, anyway, it's a simple, easy, fun project. And uh, I encourage you to, on November 11th, honor the veterans in your family. This is Miss Jan signing off. Thank you for joining us for Kids Sewing.